Hi guys, this is Kyle Kelly from Kelly Sport taking you through brand new listing. This is a 2003 Cronky 39 Endurance. Uh, this is going to be a unique boat for our market down here at Lake of the Ozarks, guys, as this is a manufacturer out of Italy. Uh, good manufacturer, guys. They've been making boats since something crazy like 1870, so before like the Civil War. Uh, but I mean, amazing, amazing, amazing boat. Really unique. It's kind of built like the best analogy I can draw down here. Or excuse me, it's kind of set up like... Um, like what I would consider like a 400 SS formula down here along the same lines except kind of some nice additional features this is going to be a Volvo diesel stern drive boat bigger sun pad um, just a lot of cool things the other thing about it guys again it's very 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 unique uh, it's kind of a long what I would say is a cross between what I would consider like a formula and maybe like a Chris Craft or something around that road so first and foremost you've got a nice swim platform on the back back here with some teak wood big swim platform where you do have a full dinghy stowage with a dinghy reel I believe inside in there you've also got the Volvo diesels I believe are the uh, stern drive duo prop as well port side entry in the side down here where you've got designated stowage for a bumper designated stowage for a cooler little catch all up on top nice big u-shaped seating up here I do believe there is a cockpit table that fills in here as well um, I believe over here we've got a little fridge, sink, cutting board down here as well. Um, very, very, very thick upholstery here as well. Very thick vinyl. Again, guys, having this boat in our market is very unique. I mean, this is a truly is a saltwater boat, as you can see with the diesels and some other features. Port side captain seat here, dual wide helm seat here, over here as well with the flip up bolsters. Again, um, um, Twin Volvo stern drives. It does have a bow thruster included with as well. And a nice big uh, four deck sun pad with a big large bow pulpit up there. Stepping inside the cabin. Again, it's a probably similar in size to that, which you'd see of a 400 SS or a 370 SS. You're going to have the U shaped seating in the front. Drop down filler cushion up there as well. Fully enclosed head. However, what is unique about this boat, you do have a little bit of a higher step up and down compared to some of the uh, American manufacturers. Oh, stainless steel sink, microwave, very nice hard wood inside here as well. Uh, but what's unique about this is you actually do have a full, what I would consider is a full aft cabin, a full size aft cabin. So you've got a nice little stowage closet here, a little changing area, and then you've also got a nice. Uh, bed back here you've seen a lot of manufacturers even in the american side are going this direction where the master is actually aft because you've got a full beam master down here a couple windows and that bed once you fill it in is probably i don't know bed sizes at least a queen i would assume but again very 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 nice i doubt the boat's ever been slept in this was more of a day boat for the clients that owned it upgrades on some stereo um and again, one owner boat, it's got about 435 hours, generator, air conditioning, everything else down here as well. A um, couple of derogatories to the boat. One, this was always kind of the derogatories you see. It's kind of a, a combination between like a stairs and ladder almost, if you will. It was a little bit of a hike up here, getting up and down inside the cabin. Um, you know, it's about three steps, as you can see. Um... It just it is what it is, but again, the trade-off is you have a huge aft stateroom in the back back here, so you could potentially use this as a day boat slash overnighter as well. Um, and then the cosmetic on the outside, two things of note. One, teak wood, it's going to need a refinishing on it, so it uh, doesn't seem chipped or worn or anything like that. just needs a good refinish. If you need a quote on that, Kelly Sport would be happy to help. And then there's some fiberglass retouching. You're going to note some fiberglass retouching. The interior of the boat, guys, is nice. However, the exterior, it's got some damage on it. Uh, in fairness to the owner of the boat, they were just in a rough, rough, rough water spot. I mean, some of the roughest water at the lake. Beautiful hole, beautiful view, but the disadvantage is a couple little nicks. So we've got some various nicks across here and then up to the side. And again, I don't see anything that is through the matting uh, or through the gel coat. All of this is inside the gel there. Uh, again, if this is an estimate or something that you would like estimated from Kelly's Port, be happy to grab it. So, um, well, hold on. 
Yeah, a couple of those may be through the gel there, guys, and then over here. So I misstated that incorrectly. But again, whatever estimates you guys would like, we'd be happy to grab it. And then again, some more fiberglass over here as well. Uh, the enclosures look never to be used. The cover, cockpit cover, is going to need a little bit of uh, touch up on it. So, um, but other than that, guys, the nice thing is they do have it priced aggressively. This is priced as for sure the cheapest freshwater um, 39 endurance that I've seen out there. Um, even cheaper than a lot of the saltwater vessels that I saw out there. So, very nice boat. Uh, all service records are available upon request. Catch us online if you're not already. www.kellysport.com. That's K E L L Y S P O R T.com. Email us, or excuse me, call us here at the Marina, 573 348 4700. Reason for selling uh, the client just sold their lake home through uh, Team Jane Kelly and uh, need to sell uh, their assets left down here at Lake of the Ozarks. Kyle Kelly, thank you for your time. Talk to you soon.